I'm going to show you how to transfer all your data from one switch to another. Welcome back to 128KB, Andy here. And yes, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your user data and everything else from one switch to another. Whether or not you've just bought a switch OLED like I have, if you've not seen our unboxing video, then check that out. Then make sure you stick around because there's so many more videos coming your way. But anyway, whether you're transferring from an older switch to an OLED or just a normal switch to maybe a new switch or whatever, maybe a switch light, then this is the video for you. It's not just going from switch to OLED, it's the same across the board. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's dive down. Okay, so you've got your two switches together, whether that's your OLED or your normal switch or your switch light, whatever, make sure they're plugged in. You are gonna need them plugged in. Then what you're gonna need to do is go to system settings on both of the systems, and you're gonna go to uh, user, and then you're gonna go to transfer your user, and you're gonna have to go to the same thing again and transfer your user, there we go. Now on the primary system, we're gonna basically go next, next again, transferring users. So this is the source console, and yeah, continue. And then this is the target console. So please sign in. So, okay, so with this, what you're gonna have to do is sign in with your user information. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna show you that on camera, so we'll just skip ahead. Okay, so I've signed in on this console, the new console, so let's go ahead and press next. And then it says, please continue the preparations. Oh, there we go, the source console has been found. Select transfer on the source console, okay. Oh, it's not found it. Oh, no, there we go. So, there we go. So transferring user information and save data for my main account there. So basically we just have to wait. Right, so we will cut there and then what we'll do is we'll come back once it's actually transferred because it will take a little while. So maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, something like that. Okay, so it's finishing up right now. We're at 100%. To be honest, it probably only took about four or five minutes to do that, which is really, really quick. I thought we were gonna have to go and get a drink or something like that, but no, it just, whizzed through. So the, um, the OLED is still on finishing at 100%. The source console, my original uh, switch says end, so I can just do that now. Oh, there we go, so it's done. The switch OLED is now ready, it says end. So hopefully my count is on here. It is indeed, yeah, there we go. One thing I want to make sure that you get is if you have Animal Crossing, then what you need to do is that is not the end of it. Don't go and format your previous Switch. Don't go give it to someone else that's gonna play Animal Crossing or anything like that because you will lose your island. What you need to do now is go back into both consoles. Once you're in the store, what you need to go and do is go to search and then just type in Animal Crossing. And then at the top, there's a free tool called Animal Crossing New Horizon Island Transfer Tool. So get that on both of your systems. So Island Transfer Tool, there we go, so okay. So this software transfers data from Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can use it to transfer save data to one system to another. So continue, and yes. Uh, do you want to begin? Uh, let's begin. Is this, this is the source console. So now we go A. And then let's begin. And then this is the target console. So uh, save data is detected. Is this what you want to transfer? Yes. Uh, so please launch that on this one and then press proceed. So proceed and proceed. Found a target Nintendo Switch system. So continue. Do you want to transfer the save data? You cannot cancel after this point, so transfer data. So what we're doing right now is we're transferring our islands between one console to another, because if you didn't do that, unfortunately, it doesn't back up to the Nintendo Switch Online save data cloud. If you'd have sort of just transferred your system, your user information to your new Switch, and that was it, unfortunately, you'd have to start from scratch on Animal Crossing all over again. Now, we bought Animal Crossing way back at launch, and we played hundreds and hundreds of hours, 
I would never start it again if I didn't transfer it. So you have to do this essentially. If you're a player of Animal Crossing and you want to continue playing from where you are, then make sure you do this. So now the save data is complete. And there we go. Please close this tool from the home menu. So that is done, close. So on the new Switch, the save data has been transferred to the Nintendo Switch. Please close the island transfer tool from there. There we go. So hopefully that should have worked. So Christina, if you can go and pass me that green little thing with our games in it. It's not a green little thing, it's a Minecraft creeper. It is a Minecraft creeper, here we go. Now inside here should be Animal Crossing. Uh, where is it? Wow, it's not in here. Okay, Christina. <laughs> oh. oh no, it is there, it is there, it's oh. me. It's just me being an idiot. There we go. So what we're gonna do is open this up, put Animal Crossing in. Let's go and see if Animal Crossing is gonna work properly, essentially. We'll, we will test to see if our island is there and everything is all good, or if something didn't go right and uh, you know, then I'm gonna cry. Now that I've proven that the Animal Crossing transfer works perfectly, let's see what happens if you've already got an SD card in your original console, and then obviously you need to put it in the new one. Okay, so I've just got my SD card out of the old console, and now what we're gonna do is put it in the new console to see what happens, because obviously I've got a lot of stuff on here, and sadly, I think it's all gonna get deleted. But let's find out, shall we? So let's let's have a go. So on the Switch OLED, what we're gonna have to do is open up the back. And now what I'm gonna do is put the SD card in. As I suspected, it says the micro SD card is being held, uh, is being used by another Switch console, or it was used on this console before it was formatted. You must delete the Switch data on the card if you want to use the card on this console. The console will restart after deleting the data. Uh, this will close suspended software. Okay, so save data, screenshots, videos, and other Nintendo, oh, non-Nintendo Switch data won't be deleted. So what that means is essentially all the games that were on the card before, because for me, this was an SD card that just held all my games. All those games are gonna get deleted. And then what I'm gonna have to do is re-download them from the store. So just to show you what happens, if I go into here and data management, you can now see that the micro SD card, I've got 476 gigabytes of space left. And if I go back, hopefully, and go, oh, not to eShop, sorry, that's the wrong button. If I go to album, Thankfully, it doesn't delete all of my screenshots and all of my video files. So those have all come over from the other Switch and have stayed on my SD card. So those haven't been deleted. So don't worry about your memories of those, that's fine. But what is unfortunate is all the games that I had downloaded are gonna need to be re-downloaded essentially. So what we need to do is go to the Nintendo eShop. And then once you've signed in, what you need to do is go over to your account up here. Hopefully it doesn't display any uh, information information not really so then what you do is you go down to re-download just here and then all you need to do is scroll through and just re-download all the games that you want to re-download so there you have it that's our step-by-step -step guide on how to transfer your user data from one switch to another your animal crossing island and data from one switch to another and your micro sd card from one switch to another and how to re-download those games make sure if you haven't already to check out our switch oled unboxing video if you haven't seen that yet as well as our metroid dread unboxing too but there's loads of videos coming out so make sure you stick around like and subscribe and check out on our website 128kb.co.uk. I'm Andy, this is 128. I'll see you in the next one.